Buy tickets for any live theater and you've invested a couple of hours of your time to be entertained. And the average patron really doesn't know how much time and effort went into all those rehearsals, building the sets. But tonight's sold out audience at the brand new Carpenter Square Theater are paying extra attention. Galen Culver dropped by their new home on Reno for dress rehearsal in a long awaited anticipation for tonight's opening night. It's really beyond expectation. She's been walking through these spaces for several years now, checking in nearly every day. Absolutely. On a Absolutely. big project for this community theater group. Quite a process. The biggest in its nearly 40 year history. Red doors yeah. indicate Red doors. public come in. So there really was no aha moment for Carpenter Square Theater artistic director Rhonda Clark. When we got our final inspections, mm. that's when you go, Yes. Not like first time visitors anyway. The theater has moved five times in its history, always fitting into existing spaces. The old Navy warehouse built in 1946 was home to lots of things and looked like this back in 2019. It was a big, open, dirty warehouse. Transforming it into a theater took longer than anyone thought it might, but there was a pandemic and then a fire at the old props warehouse. I've seen it in various stages. Mm -hmm. Actors like Terry Veal and Rob May have been waiting for the lights to come up for two years now. It's very special to get this thing opened back up finally and to be in the inaugural show. To see the theater come together like this is it's, it's pretty incredible. There are 120 spacious seats in the auditorium. The HVAC system got an upgrade. There's more room to everything, including the set shop, backstage, snack bar, even an art gallery up front. Wow. Director Clark well, you, hopes this Carpenter Squared will be home for a very long time. For me, it's going to be the last home for Carpenter Square. The new play's a comedy, the setting, a quiet little bar in Paris. But please forgive the first audiences if they look around a little bit at a new theater house that spent extra time in rehearsal for a moment like this. In Oklahoma City, Galen Culver News 4. Is this a great state or what? You know what, this is season 39 of Carpenter Square, and the play is a Steve Martin play, and because my buddy here speaks fluent French, she's going to tell you the name of the play. Picasso at the Lapin en Gilles. Wow, how about that? <laughs> you could just say it, Oklahoma. Lapin Agile. There you go. It's sold out, though, for the first show tonight, but there are performances set all the way through July 23rd, and we have a link set up for you at KFUR.com for ticket and showtime information.